today, today is a good day. You know why it's a good day? Because all of my parts for my brand new build have finally come in and we are gonna go through them in this video and I'm going to explain why I chose the parts that I did and then in a follow-up video, we're gonna go ahead and build the thing and we're gonna test it. And then also need to mention that at the end of this video, we're gonna choose the winners of the two giveaways that I did in my last two videos. So stick around for those, but let's get all of this out of the way. Let's roll the intro so I can get right into the parts because I know you guys are just as excited as I am. So let's go. For the processor of this system, we went with AMD's new Ryzen 7 3700X. So the reason we brought the 3700X instead of the 3900X is because for my personal workload, I'm not gonna see too much benefit day to day from the extra core count and the extra um, performance that the 3900X has. Obviously, it would be nice to have that, but for 170 less dollars, this processor is not only just a awesome value for what I'm doing with it, it is also just right at the mark of what I need for performance as far as my own workload. Uh, it still has eight cores and 16 threads, and it can be overclocked. I've already seen a bunch of reviewers overclock it to 4.3, and it absolutely kills in gaming benchmarks and in productivity benchmarks, and it competes right up there with Intel's highest offering on the consumer market right now, the 9900K. So, for $329, this thing is an awesome value and it is just going to absolutely demolish the workload that I have set for it. Now moving on to the motherboard, we have the ASRock, let me get it in focus here, we have the ASRock X570 Tai Chi motherboard and this thing is an absolute beast. Like all new X570 motherboards, the X570 Tai Chi features the new PCI Express 4.0 capability which I will not be taking advantage of because I haven't invested in one of those yet because I don't really need it. But anyway, it also comes with this really cool looking heat armor with this kind of like steampunk looking uh, design on top of it that I actually think is really cool looking. Of course, it does come with a bunch of RGB that is controlled by ASRock's polychrome sync that will absolutely add some uh, more bling to my build. And then it actually does come with its own built-in Wi-Fi, which is a great added bonus. And if that wasn't enough, it actually even comes with its own metal backplate. Now, this is the first motherboard I've ever seen and used that comes with a backplate, but you know what? When you buy premium parts like this, you come to expect stuff like that. For the GPU, we're gonna go with the EVGA RTX 2080 Black Edition. So a lot of you might ask, why aren't you going with the Radeon 7 that you bought earlier on this year, Ricky? And my answer to you is, Adobe products simply just like Nvidia products, okay? In my experience, I am not seeing really any benefit from the Radeon 7. It's actually sitting over here right now because it's out of my build right now. I am not seeing any benefit from the Radeon 7 in my workload uh, because it does have that 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, but for the stuff that I do, I don't see any added benefit from it, so it's really not worth it to me to use that card when it's meant for something else. And Adobe products, every benchmark I see, somebody benchmarking Adobe or seeing how Adobe acts with any kind of uh, Windows PC, they're always using an NVIDIA card. And the main card everyone's using right now, of course, is the RTX 2080 Ti. But for this build and our budget, we are able to afford the 2080 and it's going to do exactly what I need to for this build. So for our power supply, we're gonna go with the Corsair RM850X 80 plus gold power supply. It is fully modular, comes with a 10 year guarantee on it, and it is absolutely whisper silent. I have never once heard it, because I'm actually using it in my build right now, so we're gonna take it out of that build and we're gonna recycle it for our current build. Along with our RM850X, we got some custom sleeved cables from Asia Horse. So these cables are black and gray themed, and they will actually work for all of our main cables that are gonna be going into our build, and I believe they're gonna look really awesome, and we're gonna add a even better aesthetic to our build this time around, and I think it's gonna look really, really great. Memory, we went ahead and picked up a 32 gigabyte kit of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro memory, and it is running at 3200 megahertz, so it'll be nice and fast for our Ryzen Infinity fabric, 
and again this is actually in my build right now so we're gonna take that out of that build and we're gonna transfer it over to the new one and also adding to Corsair's stock this year is the H115i that I picked up from Amazon this year on Prime Day actually so this thing actually is pretty expensive this thing usually is like hundred and seventy bucks I want to say on Amazon but on Prime Day there was actually a deal of the day on this specific cooler right here and this was actually cheaper than the step down, the H100i, I believe it's called. It was actually cheaper than that. And this, it is a 280 millimeter cooler that has two 140 millimeter RGB fans included onto it. It has a five year guarantee. And once again, it also works with Corsair's IQ software. So again, everything will be in sync. This one's a 280 millimeter rad. So a bit more cooling, bigger fans. The other one came with like 120 millimeter fans. This one comes with 140s. Um, and this ended up being cheaper. I think I actually got it for like a hundred dollars So this was quite the deal that I didn't even expect to get but glad we have it for the build and lastly moving on to storage We picked ourselves up a a data XPG SX 8200 Pro this is an m.2 PCIe NVMe SSD and it comes in a one terabyte capacity I got this to be my scratch disk and premiere editing drive uh, and along with that, we are going to be recycling my 960 Evo that is currently in my build. We're going to be having this too for my main OS. And then we're also going to be recycling a couple of drives that are currently in that build over there. They're just some spinning drives. I believe I have a two terabyte Fire Cuda in there and then a three terabyte uh, P300 from Toshiba that I just kind of like mass store all of my videos on. So we're going to be recycling both of those and uh, those round out the build. We're gonna have plenty of storage for our videos and for my projects that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so what are we going to put all of these parts in, you wonder? Well, it's back there. You guys probably have seen it this entire video and you're wondering what it is, but we went ahead and went with the Corsair Crystal Series 570X RGB gaming case. It is a mid tower. It has tempered glass all around the entire case. It covers every single panel, even the opposite panel that all the cables are going to be put in. So I'm actually going to have to really try on cable management this time and make it look good because you can actually see it. Uh, it comes with three RGB fans pre-installed. We're probably going to ditch those and use my uh, my higher ended uh, Corsair fans that I have um, along with the fans that came with our uh, CPU cooler. And then we're going to go ahead and put some uh, RGB strips in there and that are really, really going to shine through this tempered glass panel case. And uh, I, I think this is a perfect home for all of these high-end parts and it is just going to look absolutely beautiful. But uh, the next thing we got to do is we actually got to draw our winners from my two giveaways I started last week. So the headphone and the keyboard, they're both done right now, both entries are all done and we're going to go ahead and go over to my computer right now and I'm going to pick them live right here, well not live, but I'm going to do them on the camera that way you guys see that I'm not cheating, I'm not cherry picking or anything like that, I'm going to actually just let you guys see me press the button and it will pick the winner and uh, I will contact you guys with however you guys listed uh, your name there and uh, from there basically it's up to you guys to get back to me so I can send you your product. So let's go ahead and go over the computer and pick our winners. Alright so here we are on gleam.com and we're going to go ahead and pick our winners for my two giveaways. So the first one we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to do the uh, gaming headset giveaway. So let's go ahead and click on that and let's go ahead and go to the winner. So one winner for this one right here, we're going to go ahead and do this on three. One, two, and three. Draw. All right, so our winner for the headset is Fatou Wage. Fatou Wage. All right, so you have won the gaming headset. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw the winner for the mechanical keyboard. So let's go ahead and draw this winner. One, two, and three. So the winner of the TechNet Mechanical Keyboard is Sam Reed. Congratulations, Sam. Uh, you are the winner of the keyboard. Uh, I'll go ahead and contact you by your email that you gave me. And as soon as you get back to me, I will be sending you that keyboard. So awesome. All right. So thank you to all of you who played in the, uh, the giveaways that I just did. 
if you guys didn't win, don't worry. I will be doing more of these in the future. And uh, in the future, I will also try to open these giveaways up to international. So that way, every one of my fans has a chance to play. So don't fear. I will be doing that in the future. So if you guys wanted to get something, you guys still have a chance. But I really, really appreciate everybody's support on the channel. Uh, it's really awesome to see how many guys actually participated. So thank you to all of you who did. Um, for you guys that won, again, I will be contacting you through your email that you gave me. And uh, I already have the headset and the mount, or the keyboard right here boxed up and ready to go. And uh, I'll be putting those in boxes and shipping them out to you as soon as I get a response from you guys with your guys' information. Uh, so really excited to give those things to you guys. Uh, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I just wanted to kind of showcase what I'm going to go ahead and be using in my new build in the next video that you guys are going to see. So I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing what I'm going to be using here. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the, in the comments below if you guys have any uh, suggestions on what I should do for the build or something like that. If you guys have any questions on why I made a choice that I did. Uh, you know, I always like to hear from you guys. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you guys enjoy videos like this. I always appreciate that kind of stuff. And if you guys have any questions on actually what uh, any of the products are, I do have a list now on my kit.com. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, it's, it's, just, it's just a site where you guys can actually list a bunch of your stuff because I am an Amazon affiliate now. So if you guys use my Amazon affiliate links, uh, to buy products it just gives me a little bit of a kickback and it helps the channel So I really appreciate that if you guys are thinking of buying any of these products anyway on that site I do have a ton of my list of everything that I do use as far as my YouTube setup my wedding setup that I shoot weddings with and as far as my two BC PC builds uh, that I have right now or I'm going to have here uh, they're both all gonna be on my kit.com so if you guys have any questions or uh, if you guys were confused about anything it's all listed there so you guys can see it but other than that, you guys, go ahead and stay subscribed to the channel. If you're not, get subscribed to the channel. Turn those notifications on so I can notify you on when I put something out next, especially this new build. You guys are going to want to see it. I know you're going to want to see it. So until the next time, which will be the new build, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.